welcome back. We are now in our 10th country, which is the UAE. We flew in late last night to Dubai from Tel Aviv, and it was absolutely beautiful flying over the desert at sunset. This morning we woke up super early and we headed down to the beach. We were hoping to get a beautiful picture of the Burj Al Arab. However, unfortunately, unless you're staying at one of the five-star super luxury hotels, there's only one public beach and the view of the Burj Al Arab is not super great, but we still had a great time watching all the surfers and just spending some time on the beach. And we are now headed to the Mall of the Emirates. After we get down to the Mall of the Emirates, we are getting picked up for a afternoon excursion where we're going to be going out into the desert to enjoy some time in the sand dunes and then some time at a Bedouin camp. And we are here to celebrate Jordan's 27th birthday, so let's go. You know the mall is just massive when they put an entire ski hill in it. I thought it would just be like a tiny little bunny hill, but this is like a legit ski hill. Like I'd probably say it's like a blue level hill up here. It's crazy. You know you're in a rich country when the bus stops have crisp AC in them. It's quite nice. So we just got back from the Emirates Mall, which was really fun. It's super beautiful. They've got tons of designer brands, which is out of my league, but it was still fun to look. So we've spent about half a day here in Dubai so far, and even though it's like considered the playground for the rich, I've honestly found it to be pretty affordable. Like the public transportation is super easy to use. It's super cheap. We've gone out to eat a couple of different times, and each time we we're able to get like very full meals for about $10, $15 per person. I was really expecting this place to like just be price gouging and just like really be expensive, but honestly, so far it's been great. We just got back to our hotel, changed quickly because in about 10 minutes our tour guide is going to be here to pick us up. Onto our Land Rovers and we started zipping right through the desert and we just stopped at a desert dune overlook. It is beautiful out here. The sun is just starting to set so it's a nice glow on all the dunes. And we saw some gazelle-like creatures that are white with pointy horns. They're super cool as well. It's fun to be ripping around out here out in the desert. And now we're off to the Falcon Show. Ooh. Like that before I carry on with the Bedouins I'm just gonna secure him now because if I don't secure him this is very good food that he's getting tonight all right it's called quail now this quail you'll find all around the world it is also for human consumption by the way so this specific quail is actually imported from France which means my falcon is getting French cuisine for dinner <laughs> right I don't want him taking this food flying off and sitting on a dune somewhere without me because like I said he doesn't care about me but also when he is full he doesn't care about the lure which means I cannot get my falcon back I have to wait 18 hours for him right that's how long it takes for him to digest his food now of course the Bedouins did not have this luxury of importing food so what they did is once they had their falcons on the glove after trapping them 
They will start with the process of training, which takes them about one month to complete. Now back to the Bedouins. Once they were done with the training, they take their falcons out into the desert and they go and hunt a bird called the Hubara, which is sort of the main course that they try to find for their falcons and for themselves and for their families. But of course they would hunt other birds as well, like tiny little pigeons or doves to keep their families alive. Once they of course found the food, they got their falcons ready like you saw I had Odin just now. And then of course that falcon is ready to hunt that bird. Now they can hunt prey up to three times larger than them. All right, he's quite small. This little guy can actually take out a duck if you wanted to try it really hard, All right? So yes, now once the Bedouins had their food, of course, they only use their falcons throughout the winter season. Once the summer season started, remember they didn't have air conditioning back then. So they release their falcons back into the wild, of course, giving thanks to nature for providing them with this amazing creature, but also because they could not keep their falcons. So every single year they would repeat the process, trap a new falcon, train them up and again, use them to hunt for them and their families for the survival. All right. So of course, that's why the falcon is so important here today because of that method or for the, for the um, Bedouins, um, the role that they played for the Bedouins back then. They have camel's milk here to try, and Sophia convinced me to try just a little bit, so I poured myself just a tasting of it. I'm not. Why? The, when in Dubai. It was heated. It doesn't really taste like milk, does it? It was actually not that bad. It was just kind of like a milky substance, so I guess it did kind of taste like milk. I don't know, it's camel's milk. So I just got a henna tattoo. This is the first henna tattoo I've ever gotten. Now I have to be careful for the next like 45 minutes while it dries and then I can wash it off. So I'm very gingerly walking around trying not to smudge this, especially since I'm wearing a white scarf. Fingers crossed I can make it 45 minutes without making a major mess. Sir, how do we go? Thank you. You're welcome. Some tomato sauce. Thank you. You're welcome. I don't know which one to Camel meat? Yes, please. Thank you. Thank you. Chicken food is served. Yes, please. Thank you. Camel meat? No. Ah, yes, please. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's the next day after our tour at Platinum Heritage, which was so fun. And this morning I woke up with my henna. This is what it looks like overnight. When I first took it off last night, I didn't think it was showing up very much, but wow, this morning it's popping. I have no idea how long it's gonna stay on, but 
This is what it looks like. We got back last night at 10.30, so it was a pretty long tour. Actually, we got picked up at 2.30. We didn't get back till 10.30, so it was a solid eight hours just filled with activities from driving around the desert in the vintage Land Rovers to the Falcon Show to just all the food they fed us. There was a ton of food. It was just course after course, and we've got to try some camel meat, which was not as bad as I thought it might have been. We also learned a ton about the Bedouin culture here, which was really fascinating, so definitely worth looking into to some type of tour going out in the desert because I feel like that's really where you experience Dubai to the fullest. We hope you enjoyed a little quick peek here at our time in Dubai, but make sure to stay tuned because next we are heading to another country, which is the Philippines. So stay tuned for that and we will see you there.